Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates where it's always simple, easy, and delicious. Tonight I am working on a dinner for my family. It is fast, easy, and really delicious and full of your favorite pizza flavorings. Okay, are you ready for garlic bread pizza? Then let's go ahead and get started with our favorite meats, our favorite veggies, add a lot of cheese, and we're gonna have pizza night. Okay, the first thing you want to do is get your veggies ready. Now, I like peppers and onions in my pizzas, and if you like mushrooms or any other kind of vegetable, you can add those. So I'm going to be preparing mine because I like to saute down my vegetables and cook my meats and everything before I prepare my pizza. And so I'm just going to slice these. I'm not gonna do very much. It's just the four of us, so I'm gonna keep it really simple. And that's how I'm gonna do that right there. Okay, this half is gonna go away. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same with the bell pepper here. I'm just gonna do like half slices. So I'm going to slice these. Now I've already pre-washed my pepper here. So I'm going to take it like that, and then I'm just going to cut that in half there for that. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm just adding some butter to a medium skillet on medium-high heat, and then I'm just going to saute down any of the vegetables that we have, and like I said, I'm using green bell pepper and some onion. Oh, yeah. My kids came in the door and my son was like, whatever it is, it smells so delicious. And I'm like, I haven't cooked anything yet. And he's like, those peppers and onions, every time you chop those up, I know something good's gonna happen. So there you go. Yeah, he's a big sucker. <laughs> okay, anytime I cook peppers and onions, I like to give them a little flavor. So I'm gonna add some salt and some pepper. And these will saute down for just about three to four minutes. Okay, once I get all of these peppers and onions out, I'm going to add my sausage and start browning that up. Because I like sausage on my pizza. I'm going to use the same pan to cook my sausage in. Now this is about one pound of mild ground Italian sausage. So whatever we don't use on the pizza, I'm going to save and use for like eggs in the morning. There we go. Alright, so I'm just going to brown this up and I'm going to bring you back. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do to prepare our pizzas is we're going to cook our Texas toast almost until it's completely done. So what we're going to do is lay these out on a sheet pan lined with some parchment paper. Now these are just the garlic toast, so it's not the five cheese blend or the three cheese blend. You don't really want to get that, okay? because. We don't want that cheese on there first. We want to put the sauce on, then the cheese. So if you can find just the garlic toast, then use that. Now, I'm betting I'm going to have to do about three, whoops, three a person. So I had bought two boxes of these. They come eight to a box. And so I'm just going to kind of put two more on here, and I think that'll be enough for the four of us. Yeah, the kids will eat the uh, three. The three each, yeah, they will. Okay, so this is what's going to make it really fast, but very yummy to eat. There we go. All right. These cooked in a preheated oven at 425 degrees per the instructions on the back of the box. Now, they're supposed to cook five to eight minutes in the oven, so I cooked them around six minutes because these are gonna go back in the oven for a few minutes. So now that we got them out and they've been pre-cooked, we're gonna go ahead and take some pizza sauce here. And then we're going to add that to our toast. Toast. 
So you can put as little or as much sauce on here as you want. We like the toppings more than we like sauce, so <laughs> we're going to put a little bit of sauce on each one of these. You don't want to get it too soggy anyway, so. It smells delicious already with that kind of garlic butter. Oh my gosh. How fun are these to make? But they're more fun to eat. Yeah, they're going to be really fun to eat. Okay, now that we got that done, you want to top with your cheese. Now, I've just got some finely shredded mozzarella cheese that I'm going to put on each one of these. Mmm, yeah. I think Mama's going for a, a good Christmas gift from the kids, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, they left me to my own devices on making the, their pizzas, so let's see how well I do. <laughs> well, you're starting out A-OK -okay with all that cheese. Yeah, my son will like that, right? Oh, man, he's a cheese head. Yeah. Okay, and then let the fun begin with all of your favorite toppings and your meats. Now, and that's why we pre-cooked everything, because it's, that's how fast this is going to come together. There we go. So I got some pepperoni here. All right, tell me down below what you would put on your garlic toast pizzas. Jalapenos. Yeah. Oh. We did not find any jalapeno peppers in our refrigerator. No, we Darn. didn't. Darn. I thought I had a jar. But yeah. I must have eaten them all. See, we got some peppers and onions. I love those on mine. So I'll just sprinkle just some on there. Use your hands on that, too. Hmm? See? Just use my hands on that yeah. one, too? <laughs> I would. Okay. Don't those look delicious? I finished off all of the toppings. I even went and got some olives and sliced those for some of these. And we are ready to place these in the oven. Now, I've ramped up my oven to broil. And we're gonna place these in there for about two to four minutes. What we are looking for is this cheese to get nice and melted, bubbly, and golden brown. That's why everything is cooked right now. Okay, I'm gonna come back. Okay, we've taken these off the pan and let them cool just a little bit on a cutting board. I'm going to go in for a bite. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That was the cheese pull right there. Mmm. <laughs> it's very delicious. Mmm. Okay, what are you putting on your garlic toast pizzas? <laughs> Comment down below. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Okay, guys, I will see you on my next episode. <laughs>